Hey guys, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, it don't work without you guys. All right, so um, it's Monday, so that means Monday night we got the Joe Boo Sports Report live stream, uh, 9 o'clock Eastern. That's our regular time and stuff. I know we've been doing live streams and stuff pretty much every day now because, well, let's face it, uh, we all have a little bit more time on our hands. And it's also because it's the beginning of the NFL league year, be it by um, Wi-Fi, Skype, or however you want to call it, Zoom, or, you know, whatever different device that you guys use. We're all doing it with technology. It's kind of great. Um, first thing, Sean Payton, who was the first person from the NFL to come down with the coronavirus, uh, he tested last Monday for it because um, he had fever and chills and all that stuff and said it was like the flu. He was on uh, Good Morning America this morning uh, via Skype um, saying that he is feeling much better, that, you know, it felt kind of weak and tired and things. And for a lot of people, that may be all it is, but not everybody. Everybody's different. So still, the best thing that we can do is don't wait for your, your 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 city, your town, your state to go ahead and say shelter in place or, you know, uh, start keeping your distance. Do that now. Why risk it? Why risk it? You don't have to. Just be cool. So, I'm uh, doing some work here. I got all my stuff packed up and everything so we can get it shipped on out which is great. I'm, I'm happy that we can do this stuff remotely and all that. I've been out to the store, picked up some extra chickens and things because I'm going to do some Peruvian chickens tomorrow and uh, just kind of reassessing and redoing things differently than usual. And I'm sitting here thinking because we all know that the Cowboys have already signed Gerald McCoy. You know, Gerald McCoy, great defender, getting a little long in the tooth. And they're looking at uh, Don Terry Poe. Don Terry Poe. Um, who is, he's, he's not a spring chicken, but he is a nose tackle, a nose guard, as I used to say, because that's what I was. I wasn't a nose tackle. I was a nose guard. I don't ask me, don't ask me because technically you would think that a nose guard would be lining up over the guard, which is really where we have our tackles. Our nose tackles in our 4-3 defense line up kind of over the guard. You know? So you think that those would be nose guard. You would think that I would have been a nose center. Because I was over the center. But anyway, be that as it may. Be that as it may, okay? We can assume that the Dallas Cowboys are switching to the 3-4 defense because that's exactly what Poe plays. He plays a 3-4 nose tackle. He lines up over the center. So we're going to be having a totally different defensive philosophy. And if you don't really know what the difference is, it's what we used to call um, a 50 defense. That's what that, that the old terminology for us was a 50 defense, which meant that you had basically three defensive lines, okay? And you had two defensive ends, although now they call them linebackers. They're really defensive ends. What it really is is a five man front with then, of course, linebackers behind them, okay? So it puts more meat up front to stop the run. Whereas what we currently have is basically a four-man front because you have two tackles that line up over the guards and then you have your defensive ends and like we had Robert Quinn and D-Law. So it makes the middle of the field soft because most times nobody ever lines up over the center. And that, my friends, is where the Dallas Cowboys gave up more yards than any place else on the field on the running game. 4.6. So now you've got a big, fat guy. A roll-off dumpster full of dirt that's in the middle whose job is to occupy space and I think that this defense is going to do well for the Dallas Cowboys I think a change of philosophy a new wrinkle a new look will give you a different result sometimes just because they don't know what to expect from you it'll be an improvement 
You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if that makes sense. But if I know, you know, the, the Cowboys, the Eagles, and the Giants, we all know each other. And when you have the same coach, your team always did the same things. They may have a little variant here or there, but then when they get into crunch time, they go back to what they did before. Which Jason Garrett, we know. We had sometimes great games where we're doing play action like 30, 40% of the time, and we're killing it. And then you get into other games that are tight, they just forget that, and they just go back to run Zeke on first down. So when teams don't know what to expect, you have an advantage. Also, this package is a big front. This isn't lightweight guys that you're going to look at and say stunt. You don't put a Don Terry Poe in the middle and say, we want you to do a twist stunt with the defensive tackle on the outside. That's not, you know, you, you may have him shoot the gap between the center and the guard and have the linebacker come in and blitz. You might do stuff like that. But you're not going to be doing on a regular basis like the Dallas Cowboys did where the majority of their sacks came from stunts. This is basically, I am a big, mean, fat guy, and it's me against you, Imano versus Imano, and we're going to see who wins. It's a death match. It's a cage match. Ah! That's what it is. So we'll see if that happens. It looks like from what we're hearing that it, it's just semantics left on it, that this is pretty much a done deal, and uh, hopefully that it really is. Now, what amazes me still is, as we're going through free agency, now, unfortunately for some players, it's a big disadvantage because if you were injured, teams can't check you out to see, are you in good shape? And who would have thought last year if I said that Andy Dalton, Jameis Winston, and Cam Newton wouldn't be able to find starting jobs? That's about the case right now. Cam may end up being with the Redskins um, as their starter. But Jameis Winston, he's got no interest at all. Nothing. I mean, you would have thought that he is Giovanni and Clowney or something. Ain't got nothing going on. And he led the NFL in passing yards. He also had 30 interceptions. But you would think that somebody would give him a chance. A chance. Just a little chance. But no. And Andy Dalton, you know, who's been a starter for Cincinnati, seems like forever. Doesn't look like he's getting a starting gig either. Who knew? But uh, I'm sure that they'll get a job before it's all said and done. Because somebody's going to get hurt. I don't know why I'm sleepy today. I hope that's not one of the... Uh, the BK app. Now, see, this is good. So BK is no contact policy with free delivery. So everybody is beginning to heed the warnings, and I, I hope you guys do too. So that being said, it's about 3 o'clock. Half the day is over. I got six hours to my live stream, and uh, we'll see what's, what's going on. Please, friends, keep your ass at home. Keep it home. Seriously. I'll see you later.